How's it going guys? Welcome back to another exciting ice fishing video. First video of the new year. We're like four days into January and I still haven't caught a fish because I haven't been fishing the past couple weeks because of Christmas. And then for the past like four or five days, I have been very sick. Still don't know if it was strep throat or pneumonia or I don't know, but it sucked. And this is the first day that I've actually felt good enough to get out of bed. I even tried to get up to go fishing a couple days ago. I about passed out. So not fun. I'm feeling a lot better. It doesn't sound like it, but I'm feeling way better and I want to catch some fish. So we're at this lake. It's got some rainbow trout, cutthroat trout, and brook trout. It is kind of cold today. My truck says it's 24 degrees and it's a little bit windy, which isn't going to help. Might be a bad idea going out here. I might just get sick all over again. We're going to get our stuff, hike down to the lake, catch some fish. And we got a catch and cook in mind too. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's go. Here we are. All right guys, we made it. It is extremely cold out here, but I think I'm gonna start right here, just by the shore. I was actually here a couple weeks ago and did pretty well, caught some brook trout. I'm gonna set one rod up over there at about four or five feet, and then I'm gonna come out here a little deeper and probably 15 feet and do some jigging. A lot of you guys have been telling me to get a jaw jacker or something instead of just leaving my rod right there and you're absolutely right. I have been to three different stores. Not a single one has sold jaw jackers. Apparently you have to order everything online now. In the meantime, I got this little rod holder. Just keep a close eye on this rod. Hopefully a giant brook trout doesn't pull it in. So yeah, we're about four feet or so right here. Maybe a little less. Oh, fish is already on it. Fish is already on it. I don't know if it's a brook trout though. I just looked down and I saw one come in hot and swim away. Well, that's good. Already a sign of fish. Oh, 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 I had one. Whoa, did you guys see that? I was just measuring the depth. I was pulling my line back up and I just got crushed. There you go. There he is, there he is, got him, hooked up. On the drop, what do we got, what do we got? Doesn't feel too big. It's a solid rainbow, looks like, heck yeah. First fish of the day. Yeah, look at that. Chunky rainbow. Not exactly what I'm after, but a fish is a fish. And this would be a good one to keep. I'm gonna do a catch and cook today, but uh, first one, so we'll let them go. Super pretty fish. These rainbows have some really good colors on them. Thank you for biting, sir. Oh, there's one. Got him. There we go, hooked up in a new hole. I just came out a little bit deeper, drilled a new hole, we got one, another rainbow. About 10 minutes since that first one. Not a bad fish. So far I've drilled four different holes and I'm just kind of bouncing between them. Dropping my jig down for a couple minutes. If I don't get a bite, I'm moving to the next one. I'm just trying to locate these fish. I'm not waiting for the fish to come to me. I'm just going aggressive with it and hopping around. I'm gonna move our dead stick rod because I haven't gotten a single bite with it. I saw one fish down there, but we're not getting anything. So we're gonna move it over here. It's probably about seven, eight feet right here. All right, hopefully this is the magic hole. It's brookie time. Oh, missed him. Shoot. Oh, there's one. Oh, there was a bite. Oh, missed him. Ah, he finally came back. Set the hook just a little too early, I think. We're getting him here, though. No more games. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. 
He's got it? Got him that time, baby. Third time's a charm. And he ain't even very, are you, what? Really? That's what was down there messing with me? This little dude? Fish is a fish, I guess. Look at that. Oh my, what? Whoa, hold on. Hold on, folks. You guys see what I'm seeing? That is not good. He's got a fishing line coming out of his, uh, you know what, that, that is interesting. I don't even know how that happens. There's like 16 inches of fishing line hanging out of him. That is not good. Well, bud, I hope you're okay. That doesn't look very pleasant. And he's missing a part of his gill plate. But he's had it rough. <laughs> there he goes. Oh, another one. Another one hooked up. This one might be a little bigger. Please be a brookie. Nope, it's another bow. It is a bigger one though. Wow, that's almost tempting enough to keep. Why not, folks? We're gonna keep this guy. We're definitely gonna keep a couple others, or at least one other. But there we go, beautiful rainbow. Just big enough to get some fillets. We're gonna give him a quick death here. Cover your eyes. All right, folks. Nothing else from this lake, no brook trout. Caught a few rainbows, kept one of them. But other than that, not a whole lot's going on. So I'm gonna head to another lake and we're gonna see if we can get some brook trout there. Let's go. All right, here we are, lake number two. We've got brook trout and cutthroat in here. And if you guys can see that giant patch of open water right there, that's because there's some springs that pour in and keep that from freezing. Most of the fish are probably gonna be stacked up right around it. So I'm thinking we drill some holes just right on the edge of that line. Hopefully there's some fish hanging out. Yeah, so it's still not that deep, but it's deeper than anywhere else I've seen. I'm gonna just keep drilling holes until I find the deepest spot. Oh, got him, fish on, fish on, fish on. Check that out, dude, fish. Oh my goodness. So I just drilled another hole, turned my camera off. I'm, pr I'm in less than a foot of water right here too. But I dropped my gold minnow down and this guy came out for it. Look at that. That is what I'm here for. Cool, cool. We could probably keep this guy, but he's just, oh man, that's a beautiful fish. I just want to let him go. That is what I'm here for. Chunky brookies. There he goes. Like I said, it's not deep right here at all. I mean, I could probably just reach down and touch the bottom. That is crazy how shallow it is, but I'm still catching fish. We'll drop it back down, see if there's any more. I just got another bite right here. Got him, got him, got him. Oh my goodness. Another one, I was drilling another hole. I look over here and this rod starts bending. There we go, fish number two from this lake. Another gorgeous, chunky brookie. Almost tempted to keep this guy. Yeah, I think we are. I don't know how many more we're gonna get. And we also don't have a ton of time left to fish, so I wanna make sure we have a brook trout. We'll drop it back down. <laughs> I mean, it's seriously like 10 inches deep right here. Oh, oh, there we go. Got another, whoa, there we go. Golly, that guy came out of nowhere. I come over here to just check it and I lift it up, drop it back down, and this dude comes in hot. That is not a bad brookie right there. Yeah, it's kind of a skinny looking fish. And look at that, he's even got like a white sore on the top of his back. Interesting, still a beautiful fish. See you later. Oh, there's a fish, there's a fish. Oh, I just missed one. I just missed one in this hole. That's the first bite I've gotten in this hole. Come on, where'd he go, where'd he go? He swam off that way behind me. Oh my gosh, that rod's getting a bite, that rod's getting a bite. Oh, 
Got him, got him, got him. Another chunky brookie. Heck yeah, almost pulled my rod in. Thankfully, I'd probably be able to retrieve it. Look at that, another brookie, heck yeah. We're starting to get into them, folks. What is that, the fourth one? I'm wanting to keep a couple brook trout. We're gonna keep this guy. I'm done keeping fish for the day. We're still gonna try to catch some more. Those are two good looking brookies right there. And they're gonna taste delicious. We don't have too much time left to fish because um, I do want to cook those fish, but I'm gonna see if we can't get just a few more and maybe a bonus cutthroat. Well, folks, the bites seem to have slowed down. I haven't seen a fish in like 25 minutes. I'm thinking we probably pack it up and head out of here and go cook. All right, folks, we have gotten off the water, or the ice rather, and it is time to cook some brook trout. And today's catch and cook involves this right here. We've got a timber tote, a primitive log stove, basically. If you don't know what it is, you got a hole drilled in the bottom, hole drilled in the top, and you just light a fire in there and it just burns from the inside out and you can cook on it. I've never tried it before, but I saw these just sitting outside the gas station and I had to grab one. All right, so I think we're just gonna do it right here up against this tree to kind of block the breeze that's coming towards me. It's actually not too bad though right now. It almost feels warmer now than it was a few hours ago. So I got some pine needles right here. I'm just gonna stuff them in. And we're gonna light it. We got smoke starting to come out of the top. There we go, I think we got it. The wood is starting to burn. Slowly but surely, it should start burning here. Whoa, did you guys see that? Whoa. I blow in from the top and fire shoots out the bottom. There we go. There we go. We got a flame on top. Now we're looking good. Oh, it just went out. We got our trout flays right here, Brook and Rainbow. We're gonna be frying these fish, obviously and some breading and oil. We've got some Zatarans New Orleans fish fry. It is so freaking good. And my oil is frozen. First thing we'll do, take an egg, mix that up. It keeps going out on me. Then we'll take some fish fry. And then we'll drop our trout fillets in the egg. Like I said, I don't know what is what. That could be Rainbow Brook. I don't know. Drop them in the bag. And mix them up. Probably should have brought a bigger Ziploc. But we're making it work. It's like an oven in there. Ooh, you know what would be a good idea? I just thought of this. Instead of just setting a pan on and frying them that way, what if I wrapped the fish in aluminum foil and just stuck them in that hole? Just stuck them in there. Ah, that's another idea we could try. Notice how the flame has started to burn through that side of the log. So I think we should be able to set the pan on now. So we got some oil. And we're just gonna set it on. Hopefully it doesn't smother like that. Dang it. There we go. That might, that might be good though. We got our fillets. I actually double coated them. So I dropped them back in the egg and then back in the fish fry just to give it a thicker breading. And we're just gonna set them in. Oh yeah. We've got a little bit of smoke, but it's not that bad. I think we'll only have room to do two fillets at a time. I don't want to overcrowd them, so. Yeah, we'll just do two at a time. They don't take too long, finally. It's taken 30 minutes for this log to burn down enough to where I could put the pan on without it just totally going out. We'll give them a flip. These ones are done. 
Look at that. All right, so we'll let those cool for just a second. There's two. Wow. That oil is really bubbling up. Holy cow. Is that normal? We've got a chemical reaction of some kind. Yeah, we're all right. First time eating fish cooked on a log stove. Delicious, it really is. Mm. It's nice to eat something really hot. There's a little bone. Finish those two fillets. Man. Might as well take the pan off, right? Woo! That's hot. So it says on the side of the log there that it burns about two hours. To tell you the truth, I don't know if I want to wait another hour for it to burn. So I'll probably just put it out when I'm done eating here. But that's pretty cool right there. <laughs> I mean, look at that. It's already eaten through like most of the log. Wow. Last bite. Wow. Well, that was tasty. Now for the log. I want to put it out. Got some snow in this cup. We're just gonna sprinkle it on. Yeah. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it a lot of fun. Uh, crazy thing is, this morning I was still a little sick. I actually feel better now that I came out and caught some fish. Uh, first fish of the year too. And trying a new method of cooking, primitive log stove. I want to try it again. Um, let me know if you guys have any suggestions. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. But other than that, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.